it should be about the game, and it should be, like, it's either about me or the game, right? Like, it should be the only reason you really talk in the chat. Uh, if you have a conversation among other people, right, if you're like, if you're like, hey, play Fizz, That's or hey, you know, what runes do you think I got on Fizz, and, like, other people answer, like, feel free, right? Like, as long as it's actually lol-based, but if it's, if it's completely mm -hmm. off-topic, the um, then, I don't know, I, I don't see why you'd be in the chat. I have the tools for the job. I love a good chase. One cool thing about this is I can put traps down in the brush, and if like a jungler or mid comes to jack this, they get hit by traps, and if they come to chase us, they get hit by traps. So um, I'm pretty much safe. Traps here. It's almost impossible for someone to sneak through this. Don't be caught flat footing. I'm really bad and can't type. Alright, let's see if they go for it. They did. Boom. Headshot. Alright. No no double golems for them. Hot on the trail. And if they do, they miss out on lane XP, which is not worth it, because they take damage doing golems. So I'll dug with a little bit of uh, attention, and now all I'm going to try to Once do is poke the trip. switch. Let me zone him while Nami's doing something else. I think she's giving a hard leash on red. Right. What? Get off me, minions. I didn't punish the last hit, that was bad of me. Time for a shakedown. Mm. Right. Did this support, like, not connect? Wanna see a hat trick? Damn, he hit that. Oh, no invisibility, at least. Nami came back. I've actually missed out on a lot of minions here from trying to harass so hard. That's actually really bad of me. Sorry, boy. I keep the fuzzy pops at home. Yeah, Twitch is gonna have to leave. You can't stay like this. Don't burn flash, don't get too aggro, he just is gonna get zoned. You don't have to try too hard or anything. Oh, you did not expect that thing. He's trying to barrier bait the entire time. I mean, that really sucks for them, though. They had no support. Nami comes in with seven wards. Are you serious right now? Alright, my trap's starting to time out. Need to replace them soon. You have slain 
Oh, I just got outplayed so hard. I got super outplayed, but oh well. At least he's dead. I outplayed the hell of that Lee Sin though. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. You know I did. Don't be caught flat footed. <gasps> Alright. Uh, yeah, let's see. For Twitch, I don't know if I actually had defensive tools. I went to auto to make sure I got damage credit, though I think I actually already had it, because I think I died before I, I shot. If I had actually queued, maybe, because I think I turned back to attack, if I had queued from where I stood, that might have worked, or if I just kept running backwards, I'm not sure. Um, but, like, I didn't realize he had expunge available on me, I didn't look at my stacks. Um, if I had realized he had expunge, I wouldn't have, well, I don't know, maybe he was actually, I don't know. I, I would have to look at the... Taking free damage, stop it, freak, you're bad. Yeah, I had nothing to do there, I was stuck. The thing is, we saw him come down, that was just a purely a misplay on my part. Also, Twitch did a good job juking where the Q went. So I clearly didn't hit him with it. Oh, damn it. They just cut right back up. Me? Not by a long shot. E backwards gives you a little bit more distance as you go towards your lane. Um, Fizz 41, Zareth 47. Fizz also opened up all consumables. I assume not Red Elixir, but there has at least gone back to buy once. B2 and 1, not the score I wanted. Jace 1 and 1 is fine, but 33 versus 46 is not ideal. And React is actually rushing. Let's investigate. I love a good chase. I need to get some wards down, or traps down. I haven't been trapping much of anything. We'll get this turret at least. At least soon, anyway. jungle is, should just buy. But I'm gonna grab my Berserker's Greaves. Attack speed is a nice stat. If Twitch jumps me, we fight him. Wanna see a hat Alright, Lee Sin is is basically camping bottom. We're giving him too many openings. I knew Twitch was going to stealth to jump us, even though we had more we had more stats than him. Um, all right, they got the kill on Fizz. That's good. Forty nine versus Twitch's forty five is not good. Like I don't have anything this game. I'm back in base so often. I think the Sword Zerkers is nice, but I don't know. It should be at like seventy eight. And I just gave up like seven minions just to try to put pressure on that, and it did nothing. Gosh, I just have to do this. Right. Don't be caught flat-footed. Right. Oh wait, we don't 
jungler. Can't. I'm gonna push mid then. Nothing to do bottom. Even though there's no jungler, we just won't get anything done against these guys. I love a good chase. So I'm gonna push mid. If you have ult, he's dead. So many Whatever, we get a turret for it. We get a turret for a little bit of farm from Twitch. Like, why you always grow? That was an easy wave to kill. Alright, let's take control. Their mid and jungler kind of had to go back and buy. Yup. Free dragon. Let's go. And fast as we cross. Wow. Not by a long shot. I would have been very sad. Alright, 71 minions is much better. Twitch is catching up though because he, he's freezing, which is smart of him. I'm missing out on a lot of minion kills because of his freeze. But now he's pushing, right? Now he knows he's past the freeze mark, so he's shoving. Because I get it to my turret before I show back up in time. Wanna see a hat trick? So, like, it would be I terrible for me to try to, 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 to like, fight for mid right now. No, he's actually gonna get it. Uh, he actually might get it to my turret, just barely. I, my minions might just stop it up, but... Um, so you can see he's now ahead of me in minions. Well... He's ahead of me in minions, right? He's he's ulting just to shove as hard as he possibly can. But also, he's gonna be able to buy an item. I don't miss any of them. But you can see he's caught up in minions. Now he's only down five. It was actually pretty close to what it was before, I take that back. I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter. He's Anyway, he got a lot of minion kills. Yeah, easy to clear that wave. Unsafe to st Oh, I see Lisa in mid. I don't know. Take this. Keep the fuzzy pups at home. Yeah, it's too unsafe. Take the golems and leave. Don't be caught. But taking golems is nice, and now he's gonna freeze again. So I'm gonna pick up another piece of my items. I guess I'm farming pretty well at this point. Because I'm gonna be close to eye edge by Fifteen minute, 15 minute for your first big item is a mark you want to look for. Now, granted, I edge costs more than Bloodthirster, uh, but in general, I think it's a decent mark to look for. I think it's a reasonable approximation of how we're doing. Oh my gosh, I can't believe he lived. Me? Me? This is not good for Lulu, of course. Uh, uh, Alright, let's pick up something. Twitch might show. If he does, that means I'm not there and he is, which is bad for the team fight. I have the tunes for the team. Nami probably means Twitch, but I'm going to get second turret here. Headshot. Shut down. Yep. Let's do a lot of golem some more. That was by pulling it to that side to help make sure that I wasn't getting caught. Time for a shakedown. I was attacking from there, but it would see me, my life would be pain, but I pulled it to the brush because you always pull to the brush, and lower field connected showed up. So I got a lot of damage in their turret. Right. 
We went equal in a team fight, but I got a bunch of farm. I'm now one of the only guys with 100 minion kills. Uh, and it's time to get a Phantom Dancer. So Renekton... Oh, he went Ninja Tabby. Okay, so Renekton has a lot of uh, armor. How He's gonna have a Sunfire train? Cape. That'll be fun. But uh, Trundle ult can lower that armor, so Trundle... Which was smart. I didn't notice. We're just playing more laning phase. I don't want to lose my turret. Okay, I won't. That's good. So many bad guys. So really, even missed last hit. That's good. Since playing well, got them in my sights. They're trying to push mid. I can't stay for bottom, I'll get caught. This is not good at all for Lulu. Super not good at all for Lulu. Be dead. Gonna, oh my god, we lost so many people for that. The thing is, that was so obvious too. Like, I knew exactly where he was, and I was like, I'll just fight him, and then lost. Like, he has attack speed, so I can't. Oh, that's not good at all. He's going down and left. You know he's going down and left. Whatever, anyway. I guess he's up. I don't know why I went to go fight Twitch. That was dumb. Twitch is playing his the map very, very well. Twitch is playing his champion right, he's seeking and finding things. Successfully every time. Bottom's pushing again. So they reset off their turret already. Good pick up on dra uh, dragon. Dragon. Me. Pick more farm. But yeah, so Twitch just got in on a lot of kills there because he roamed around, and I unfortunately. So the thing is, like, this turret still stands and this turret's low. So what he's done for his team is pick up a bunch of kills, which is good for him to be fair. What I've done is pick up a bunch of minions and um, a full turret job. worth of health. So. Um, I I think I'm I was still okay to have kept pushing bottom. I think that w that's still a fine choice. Um, it probably makes more sense for the champion I'm playing versus Twitch. Him roaming around with freaking fights is the right choice for his champion. But again, I see Fizz down there. Have to be afraid. Wanna see Lee see Sin. Trick? Twitch actually one v ones me, which is mid. I'm killing mid turret. See all of them. Let's investigate. It's still a four mid. I'm killing this turret. So many bad guys. So little time. Is coming to kill me. After a showdown. I didn't juke his E well enough. That was a good job by him. I was one attack from killing him. Oh well, he wasted his ult. If I had barrier, if I hadn't wasted barrier, I just won that fight outright. Oh well. Um, we'll play by him either way.
Oh, Twitch, you did not expect Zareth. That's pretty funny, actually. Alright, so again, I got a turret. I traded this turret for that turret. I died, which is bad, but... He burned his ignite too, I pretty much sure. I think Twitch is huge though. Yeah, Twitch is still... Well, the thing is, I have, I have Zerk Graves where he doesn't have upgraded boots. But... I don't know. I, I should be pushing mid with these guys. I'm taking this turret. Like, I shouldn't be taking red, I should be taking this turret. Right too. I can always get red afterwards. Major objectives? Oh, you crazy. Great. Oh, that was a really good pillar. Me? Me? Not by a long shot. Who doesn't like I should have realized where my team was and not gone for that. Now, to be fair, I think the right call for the team was to take that turret, but I should have realized where my team was and not been where I was. So as it stands, Fizz does a lot of damage to me. Um, unless I can dodge his ultimate, it's just a really rough situation for me to be in fighting. So I think before I get Last Whisper, I'm going to buy a... Um, before I get last, I'm gonna buy a vamp center. I need, I need to be able to life steal and survive this team fight. Not yet in range for ulti, but I will be soon. Wanna see a hat trick? Please, let's take that turret. Ow. Finally got a free turret. That's not worth it. Twitch could have taken bottom turret if he wanted to. But he was dead. I'm just saying if he were alive, that was his turret. We got top though, that was cool. Boom. Alright. Twitch red. Get back in soon, okay. Now. Oh, no, help the team. Never mind, they're gone. Wasting time. Alright. There's Nami, she has no big boards. I don't see Oracles on the team either. Right. No, there's no Oracles on the team. Alright. Let's investigate. So I'm sad that despite a very strong early game for us. Um, we've not been able to shut down Twitch very well. Me? Miss? Need wards on Baron. They risk taking it. They're getting blue. Their team is around mid. Jace, I'm afraid for you. What? So I can't go Baron while Zareth's taking the blue. That doesn't work. Now all I'm gonna do is deal damage outside of his attack range. I know he's regening. I'm hoping my team would actually show up. Hey look! It's low and I didn't take any damage. So I was I was in absolutely zero risk of getting dropped.
That ult, dude. An enemy has been slain. I don't think we go through an entire team fight without ulting. It's just weird. So many bad guys. So bad. Take those buffs. Time for a shakedown. I'm gonna take top farm. No, actually, right hand side's getting juicy. I have the tools for the jump. Not afraid of them jumping us in the river. Are they trying to Baron. They're trying to Baron. Shoot. Don't be caught flat footed. Yep. Well, no, we don't see them yet. If we didn't have wards, I couldn't do this, but we have wards. Like, I guess they're trying to bait it. And then we just... There. See, that's one of the things uh, I talked about this last night. Um... It's like you need to con you need to create two threats so that your opponents have to lose the situation. Like we either lose this turret or we lose Baron. And the fact that I've been able to keep this turret alive has actually really helped us. Um, because if they ever do try to like siege bottom, it's like, well, enjoy getting through three turrets. Which, uh, like, even though it's not hard to kill that turret, they can't have started anywhere uh, closer than river. Um, which means like it's not a it's not a threat. Like, yeah, we'd love to keep that turret alive, but like they're not actually threatening anything on the map by doing that. Uh, not anything, anything super important. You know, delay the global gold as long as you can. But... Yeah, so me being down here, right? It's it's a little weird because there's nothing here. I'm just trying to keep the waves pushed again. No, nope, twitches I can. Um, this will slightly push towards our turret. It'll actually snowball and might take the turret down to the three. Uh, they're back out, so I'm just gonna wave clear this and then head back over. Yeah, so Trundle's buying. And again, now this is pushing away from our turret, and the turret's gonna live for a long time. So I'm coming over there. I'm on the way to our second turret. Me, me. Just trying to keep that part of the map controlled. I have to go around this way. If I go through there, I risk getting cut off by Fizz. Uh, we have five. We actually control mid really well. Bottom's gonna hit their inhibitor, like for free, and Nami got caught. Bottom already stopped. Wow, what the hell? <laughs> Grabbing Aegis actually hurts a little bit because I don't do good damage to her anymore. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have split. Right. Yep, they're gonna run for Baron. We're gonna lose bottom turret because of it. They're not running for Baron. Why are they? Okay. I don't know what they're trying to do, but it's not Baron, so Me? I have no reason to be here. Not by a long shot. Last 
Whisper. They're on it. Damn it. Now they are on it. Without their whole team, but they're on it. Red. Red. I misplayed that. I love a good chase. Good job. Alright, run away, run away. I misplayed that. I thought they weren't going to Baron, and I was wrong. I think part of that was everyone else also back, thinking they weren't going to do it. But even so, like, whether I led by example or what, I played an individual move like that. I individually could have been there for Baron. I, I made the wrong play. I needed to defend Baron. Alright. Oh, damn. Yeah. Not see him in time. Let's investigate. Well, now we have a Baron push. I actually want to trap right around their uh, dead turret. Good bubble. Pushing the minions down to get my minions to the inhibitor. I could probably kill the inhibitor anyway, but it's actually really useful to get your minions to help participate. Yeah, that Baron Steel saved us though. Like we would have been so screwed. I completely like messed that one up. I'll let Jace get that. I'll take top. Twitch is doing a very good job of participating. I'm an item ahead of him now though. Because I have 80 That's minions and all the globals on him. They're pushing, I need to buy. Rekt is still going health, I actually think I'm gonna go Rune King. Don't be caught flat I think I'm gonna go Frozen Mallet. I don't know why I'm going to the jungle, it's stupid. I should go to the jungle. I like this weird state of like, I don't know where we're supposed to go, and I just started farming the jungle. And we should just be going to the jungle. Oh, that's not good at all. I just I farmed really well, became a huge damage source, um, and saved my bot turret all game. Um, and aside for the one time, uh, there's nothing that, that I was risking to do it. They never actually put pressure anywhere on our map when bottom turret was under siege, except that one time, which would have thrown the game, to be fair, with Baron. Um, As a point, um, when M Mihawk said you got carried so hard, that's perfectly fine. That's, like, in terms of, like, refining what to moderate, like, you're allowed to say I suck, it's okay. As long as you're not, like, an asshole, that's okay. Um... Uh, yeah, I'm in, I'm in Diamond 4 in series for Diamond 3.
Why didn't I buy any potions? I didn't need potions most of that game. Um, I could have elixir at some point, but almost every time I backed, it was for like a, a major upgrade. Like, oh, I now finish Blade of the Ruin King. Um, I think there's actually one time I could have actually uh, sold Doran's Blade for Red Elixir at the end game. I probably should have, um, and didn't. I sometimes play York. I'm really bad at York. He doesn't fit my playstyle at all. Alright, um, something you hold as a playstyle, something. Uh, my best role is 80 carry, yeah. Um, why didn't I sell Doran's? So Doran's, Doran's blade is more efficient than, like, it's almost equal to a pickaxe. I mean, not, not that close, but like, Doran's blade and pickaxe are actually reasonably close in terms of item value early on. Um, because 80 health and 5 life and hit is really huge. Uh, late game, yeah, like, you can sell Doran's blade for a pickaxe and it's probably better for you. But at no point could I have sold Doran's Blade and gotten a major upgrade. Like, I'm not going to sell Doran's Blade for a dagger or something. It's it's never worth it. Um, you're almost better off waiting and keeping the item in your inventory because you're getting 10 damage until you're at your 6th item. Right? Like, you could like if I sold Doran's Blade for, like, a, the Eye Edge upgrade, if I didn't capitalize on having an Eye Edge, which, you know, maybe I would and maybe that helps, um, but if I didn't capitalize on it, it's a complete waste, and I lose out really hard. Um, so you want to be very careful about if you sell a Doran's. And I think that's really relevant to keep in mind for people. Um, um, I disagree with like the ease of percent health damage. So I mean, like, it's you don't have to go out of your way or anything all that really to get percent health damage. Um, so, so here, here's the thing, um, about, like, percent health and buying health. So, we intended with Season 3 to be, for health to be the stat. We made health cheaper, health got easier to get, resist got more expensive. If you notice, Renekton is tanky, and every one of these is a health item, which is intended that you can't really build just resists and have it work out. Um, you should be building health plus resists items. Um, they all build from health. Because then you can look at someone's health bar and be like, ah, they're a tanky man, they have three, 4,000 health. Instead of, oh, this person has 1,500 health, no problem, why aren't they dying? That was a very important conscious choice. Now, what we wanted to have happen, though, was if you built, like, all magic health items, or all armor health items someone of the other class could say, oh, I can itemize against you. Because it's still hard to kill someone with 4,000 health as a mage, even if they don't have magic resist. And it's still hard to kill someone with 4,000 health, even with no armor, as an AD carry. Or it can be. Um, and so by including percent health damage items, it says, okay, look, if they don't itemize any armor, this is an item that will work well against your, your opposition. Um, but if you work the math out, right, because like AD carries need to crit to deal real, real damage, and you look at that and you're like, actually, hmm, okay. Uh, like, going Blade of the Rune King Hurricane is not as good as IH Phantom Dancer. Um, that, so that unless you need the Rune King active, or you actually are fighting guys with Warmogs, you don't really want Rune King as a damage source. But again, I looked at Renekton and said, okay, Sunfire Cape, plus he has this um, uh, axe thing, Black Cleaver, he's got like, and he's got his ultimate, he's got like 4,000 health. Yeah, I'm going to go for the Blade of the Rune King at this point. Um, and also, again, because he's Renekton and there's a Lee Sin and a Fizz trying to jump on me, here's all these guys that I want to use Rune King active on and dodge away from. Um, so that was an important distinction. Um, so, so I disagree that like health is too expensive and that percent health is OP. I think it's actually pretty good, pretty good equilibrium there. They really exist to say, hey, here's this item that if a guy builds five war mugs, you can do something about it, and I think that's really valuable. Um, so. Uh, I will answer more of your guys' questions. Uh, okay, so in two minutes, we're going to group up for Freyla. So I'm going to be AF King in about two minutes, but I will be back afterwards. 
Um, so the the needly nerfs uh, with the armor and MR on her melee form. Uh, so so bruiser mobility needly is not a good build for the game. Bruiser bruiser like needly is just like awkward and annoying, and no one likes fighting against the champion. Um, <clears throat> and she doesn't like like. You're this split push nightmare that you can never kill, and even if you outnumber, she runs away. And it's just like, there, there's no, at no point are you making the right choice against Bruiser Needly. And so there's like this, just annoying piece of crap that nothing happens to. Um, and so like, okay, look, we'll drop off the armor and MR, and now you've got to actually work for your tankiness. Um, whereas like, if you're AP Needly, like yes, you're a squishy person, right? And every once in a while, you can go cougar form and go ape shit. But here's the thing, right? If you're AP Needly and you just have javelins, you're still a strong champion, right? And when you want to take blue buff down, you go morph back and forth between forms and you do a lot of damage. You're taking dragon and baron and all these objectives. You can use cougar form. When you're wave clearing, you're using cougar form. There's all these things you're doing in cougar form. If you want to go in melee in a team fight, then go be risky like everyone else, right? Like, if you're playing a, a burst mage guy and you want to go dive into melee and succeed, you better be real tricky. Like, look at Fizz. Fizz can go into melee range and succeed with no bonus armor and MR in his kit. He has some evasion, sure, right? He can he can jump in with E, and he has this, like, he has this, you know, shark and everything, but, hey, I mean, look at Needly's tools, right? She softens you up with javelins, lowers your armor and MR, heals herself, and then dives in for the pounce kill. Like, she doesn't need to be tanky to do that. That's an assassination button. Um, and I think we've seen that AP Needly's perfectly fine with that build and if you really want to go build Bruce and Italy, then you got to work for it and I think that's perfectly fine um, uh, so I don't think Quinn isn't a viable champion in competitive play I think she did come out weak and sure um, but let's think about this right when Draven came out who actually played Draven competitively no one did no one played Draven uh, when Oriana came out people thought Oriana was weak for two months until she was actually a mandatory pick and ban in competitive play. Um, people often take time to play new champions. Like, Thresh was by far the best support in the game on his release. You want to know how many games of competitive went through without Thresh picked or banned? Like, it was a decent number. And, like, some people were like, yeah, dude, Thresh should be seen in every single game because he was the best support. And then there were games where he just wasn't played. Um, so, you know, I think people don't adapt to champions or adopt champions very quickly sometimes. Yeah, let's go. All right, so I'm going to AFK about 20 minutes, and then we're going to uh, I'll be back. So, yeah.